Well, this is bear, and that is hair. Together, we're the bear and hair show. So glad you could join us today for the uh, product review edition of the Bear and Hair Show. Today, we have a very nostalgic game pen for you today. Today, this, today. Today, today. This is very exciting. Etch-a-Sketch? Who on earth didn't grow up playing Etch-a-Sketch? Well, probably like crazy. Well, if you didn't grow up playing it, you definitely were around people. You knew about happened. it. It was like Jesus. It was. You always yeah, knew about it. Yeah, people come knocking on your door. Excuse we me. want to show you an etch sketch Excuse me, do you have an etch sketch An etch sketch track? This is really cool. Okay, so let me get you some history on this, all right? So this is a drawing toy that was invented by Andre Casagnes Sounds of France. Sounds very drawing. It's probably not how you pronounce his name at all because he's French, okay? Oh, but I'm fine. America, okay? All right? <laughs> <laughs> He's front. I'm, I'm right. America. All right. So um, this was uh, manufactured by the Ohio Art Company. So I guess it was like mm -hmm. an art class that was like, we need drawing toys. And so they made this toy, okay, and it's now owned by Spin Master in Canada. So uh, oh, that, the edge sketch. That's climaxed. That, was that no? Yeah, it was kind of like just it was like, like it was so cool. It was like a oh, French guy came up with this, and then and then it Canada. went. It went well, it makes sense because a lot of French live in Canada. A lot of French live in Connecticut. Canada. Canada. <laughs> well, um, it was it was made in the 1950s. It was really out in the public on uh, July 12th, 1960. That's Dang. old. You dated it exactly. You dated, dated it exactly, and it came out in 600,000 units for three dollars oh, a piece yeah. back then. That's insane. That would be like me spending 25. I'd do it. I mean, these things were big. 25, you know, yeah, yeah. This is just the pen, okay? Yeah. These things were like, I mean, we're talking like 12 by 8 inches. This enormous looking things, okay? So It is a bit easier to draw with your hand. $3 ain't that, that, that bad. But um, in 1989, it went into the uh, the National Toy Hall of Fame. We've done as, a few toys that I know, that's Hall what I'm saying, like super nostalgia. So this is a really cool game pen because obviously it's a pen and it's got an etch sketch on it. If, if you don't know what an etch sketch is, you just, you're a loser. We just told you. And it's, you need to open your ear balls. Do it. Do it. Are open you ready? It. Are we ready to open this? Open it with your ear balls. No! Oh, dude, there she is. Oh, man, that is that super, is super cool. cool so, I mean, just like all these other game pens, this is pretty This is pretty smooth. Now, the only thing I don't like about this, and you and I talked about this before we even opened it, mm -hmm. was that um, in the, the way it was packaged was the holes for these were still open, so you could actually play it in the package. And so, if you look really closely, there's like little lines that have been left from people playing, on the playing it and then leaving it. Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. I but mean, it is what it is. Who else played it? Like, yeah. I always wonder. Like, someone played this in the 19s. You know what I mean? Like 19s. 19s. Like, like 90s. I'm sorry. I was gonna say 19s. In the 1900s, someone had played it in the 90s. What are you that talking made about? A big mistake. What are you talking about? This is actually not not um, licensed by Hasbro. This is licensed by as we but said, it's Spin still Master. Got the rubber grip. But yeah, style is still manufactured. This mm -hmm. bad boy. So it's got the beautiful rubber grip. Let me see if we got something. Okay. Draw. I'm gonna draw on the back of this thing. See if this should write. Okay. It does. Okay, it does write. So good. So the pen works. Not as bulky, so that's yeah, this. Good. This, it's really thin. If you look at it, it's actually much thinner than a lot of the games we have here. And, I mean, it doesn't feel too bad. So, as far as aesthetics go, I mean, it's pretty pleasing. It's, you've it's got sick. you've got this little tiny bit that's all Etch-A-Sketch here. And so, I'm going to play a little bit. I'm sure if you've already seen this game, you can see how it works. You know, ooh, I draw that, I draw that. I don't know if you can really actually see what's happening there you go. right now. Yeah, you can see me drawing. So I'm drawing. That's neat, man. It's really simple. You know, I've actually seen like a lot of really sick oh, art. Really? Crazy Have you art. seen but people see, do to this? Me, it's an art in itself to be able to draw mm -hmm. on that thing. Exactly. Because I mean, you've got to like be turning each knob. So this one goes up and down, and this one goes left and right, and so it draws. You can draw boxes, but I've actually seen people like draw like, like full on masterpieces, like the Dagum Sistine Chapel on this bad it's boy. It's crazy. It's insane. Yeah, people, and they actually came out with some um, like the big versions. They came out with some that actually had different colors. 
Okay. So you could have That's like the rainbow, you know, all the way across. You could like all that stuff. They had one that were blue, but this one's just your original black and gray, which is really cool. Um, the way you delete, now the way you get rid of it, because you're like, what on earth? This is not paper. You can't get rid of it. You shake it. So you give it a good shake. Shake like it. Shake, weight. shake it. All you want to do is shake it. Anyways. It is all you and then, want. boom, it's gone. Unless and you're you this to, toy, then you've got some leftover. Well, residual. and there's some residual. That's fine. But but you get to start again. It is what it is. This one doesn't have limited gameplay because there's only two types Could of Could you gameplay. imagine real quick? Take yourself to the shoes of a famous artist, yeah. and you're doing a nice etch sketch masterpiece, and some dude just walks up and accidentally hits it or something. <laughs> like, oh man, this is really cool. Yeah, like you're, <gasps> you're done. Like fresh start. See, yeah, at that point, I, that's why like I like phones because I can be like snap picture. Yeah, right. It's never gone, but. Um, this is a really cool game, Pan. Thank you, Spin Master, for coming out. And Stylus. And Stylus. Yeah, that's the right. Stylus, stylus Hasbro is, is not the only ones doing these things. Yeah, so thank you, Spin Master and Stylus, for coming out with this game, Pan. This is a win. I'm going to put this one. That one needs to go right, right here, right in front, so we can see it. All right, it's going to be on our uh, our box of fame. Mm -hmm. All right, and thank you again for uh, checking out our video. And uh, do not forget, do not forget to um, subscribe and email the bear and hair show at gmail.com to be entered to win uh, this operation game pen as well as uh, possibly um, two <laughs> uh, we're gonna be giving away two different uh, wine racks wine made racks. out of pallet wood that we did in our uh, our live video which you can check out on YouTube. YouTube so thank you guys again y'all have a stinking awesome day it stinks